Wendy's got a squirrel or a bunny in here because a large tree just fell partially onto our house and came really very close to hitting his cage. It's the middle of the night, it's a windstorm, and this is just kind of an unexpected, unexpected event. How are you doing? I'm asking Squirrel how he's doing. How are you doing? Squirrel's fine. I thought my rabbits were all dead because I heard the tree come down on them. I have a goat that's pregnant and I was worried about her and all my other animals. We'll know more tomorrow. It doesn't look like there's very much damage to the house on uh you know, in the dark here, but it's hard to say. The tree did graze her car, but there's no broken windows. It's probably just some denting and maybe a little scraping along one of the back corners. So here you can see a little bit of damage on the roof. Fortunately, it looks like it's just under the eaves on the outside of the house. Just an incredible, an incredible fall of the tree that just barely clipped the car and barely clipped the house. So it's the top of this tree here that broke off. So you can kind of see it from this angle all the way up there where the top is no longer there. Of all the big trees around the property, that one I think isn't quite so bad to lose. It's part of a cluster of trees. So it's it's not super noticeable, I guess, that, that you know, it doesn't leave a big gap. We were expecting snow and ice, and I was anticipating just, you know, a beautiful, peaceful video with the, with the beautiful snow. Instead, we get this. <sighs> you can really see right here how close it came to crushing Wendy's car. literally just brushing the uh, edge of the car with a few br small branches along the top there.
basketball hoop has seen better days. We really never used it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal to, uh, to lose the basketball hoop. While I've got a little daylight here, I wanted to get up into the crawl space, the attic space above my shop, to see if I could see any daylight coming in through the roof, some little holes that I might have not seen from the ground level. It looks like we dodged a bullet with this tree. I'm pretty sure the only puncture in our roof is outside under the eaves of the house. This is how close our favorite rabbit squirrel came to getting squashed by the tree. He lives right here. Hello, squirrel. And the tree is right there. One interesting piece of good news I moved our garbage can and recycling bin out front because we were expecting snow and I just didn't want to drag them through the snow on collection day. So I was making it easier on myself by bringing them out here a little early. Well, we normally keep them right where the, that tree came down. So had I not done that, I don't know if the cans would have been damaged, but they certainly could have been knocked around. The contents could have blown all over the place. So I'm glad I moved the cans early. Standing right here, it's much more noticeable where the tree broke off. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to seeing that sort of tall broken stump but, you know, a natural broken snag in the forest does, you know, provide a habitat for animals and it's a natural, natural part of the system. So I think, I think it'll be okay to leave what's left of the tree there. How are you doing, Wendy? Part of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. Yeah, we're, we'll get rid of this part of the tree. <laughs> you know, this uh, climbed over three times today. <laughs> yeah, Come here, boo. you know, this tree fell. This tree fell the night before I started my three day, 10 hour shift at work. So I, I barely have any daylight at all to work with out here for the next three days. So I don't think I'll really be tackling much of this project, getting rid of the tree and the limbs. I don't think I'd want to anyways with all the snow and ice. It'd be a little foolish, I think, to slip around on ice while using a chainsaw. I'm not really that, that good with the chainsaw that I would trust myself to do that. Wendy's probably happy to hear me hear, say that too. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> it's not that good with a chainsaw. It's not something I you say want to watch. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'd say it's just a prudent decision. Okay. <laughs> I still would like to maybe have a few branches pulled off of my car. <laughs> yeah. But first when he has to go see snow. He wants to go play with the goats. All right, let's go do that. Boy goats or girl goats?
<laughs> he looked a little startled. <laughs> Usually he just bounces away like happiness. This time he was a little like, oh. <laughs> Look, he's getting used to it. Yep. <laughs> he found the one spot. The one spot without the snow. What do you think, squirrel? You want to describe how we put up the heat lamp for Valkyrie? It was like 3.30 in the morning. Hi buddy. Oh, are you getting cold? Um, and so we could get this heat lamp out here because Valkyrie's due any day now. And she kept sitting out here on these stones in the snow and she was all snowy. And so I decided we would put her in this stall that we had decided to keep for when she gives birth so I don't know why she was doing that but as soon as I put put her in here and had the heat lamp for a while and she calmed down she, she spent the whole day sitting under that heat lamp I kept going and looking and coming out here and every time she was under that heat lamp Want down again? there's the heat lamp I need to get another one of those, I think. But you might want to tell people about this hook, because that's kind of cool. I don't think other people have thought of that. We took a planter hook, and then we have this Premier One light, and you can put a red light bulb or a white light bulb in there. We've got a white one in this one, just because it's goats. They don't, they don't care about color, <laughs> not like chickens. So it, but it's just on a planter hook, like you would hang a hanging plant basket on. And so it puts it far enough out from the wall that you can use it and you can kind of wrap the cord a little bit around it. And then it works great. I like this idea. I think we'll, we'll get a few more for hanging this hook somewhere else. Maybe be able to hang our light for things <laughs> where trees are falling down somewhere or something fell down um probably ice melting melting yeah something it's it's gonna pull down some big branches tonight because it's really icy yeah but this this works really good and the the premier one lights are really heavy duty because they protect that light bulb although i found out last night well three o'clock in the morning i guess so it was morning that they do break if it's cold. So I dropped it and it was in its little shell, but it still broke. So that was kind of sad. Valkyrie's kind of butt heads. <laughs> what is that Valkyrie? Is that not your friend yet? Nope. <laughs> Not Valkyrie's friend. These girl goats are doing better than the boy goats because they've at least walked around out here a little bit. The boy goats... They just stuck to their they, shelter. <laughs> uh, every time I went out there and checked on their water and stuff today, they had not even made a footprint on the, on the snow. They took one look at it and said, not for me, and stayed in their hut. <laughs> yeah, well, while I've been at work all day, Wendy has had to make sure our animals have water that isn't frozen. The chicken's water worked perfectly because I moved it inside the coop where it's a little more insulated. But our rabbits and our quail Definitely have frozen water. So every few hours she's been going out and bringing their waters back inside, letting them defrost a little while, and then taking them back out. What do you think, Valkyrie? Does 
Snow isn't too bad when you have a little heat lamp. 